Hello, I'm Hans van der Kwast, Senior Lecturer at IHC Delft Institute for Water Education. In previous videos, I've showed how to install PC Raster within the Anaconda environment and to set all the environment variables. In another video, I've demonstrated how to do catchment delineation using PC Raster Python. In this video, I'm going to show you the first steps of setting up a model, which is to import your data and uh, resample the data to the clone map. So PC Raster needs a clone map because all the rasters need to be of the same dimensions as the clone map, which means it needs to have the same uh, origin uh, projection and it needs to have uh, the same rows and columns and the same cell size. So for this purpose I have uh, downloaded Corine land cover map 100 meter resolution and I'm going to use as a clone the catchment map that we created before which has a spatial resolution of uh, 30 meters and covers the Ruhr catchment. So this land cover data set covers uh, Europe and what we're going to do is resample it to the area covered by our uh, catchment that we delineated in a previous video. So I'm now in the Anaconda prompt and uh, first I need to change the environment to the PC Raster environment that I created in a previous video. So we do Conda activate PC Raster and there we are and now I go to the folder where I saved my uh, file. And uh, the file that we are going to work with is this CLC diff. So I'm going to do a GDAL info to see what the projection is. And the projection is EPSG 3035. It's, it's uh, in ETRS 89. What I want is to uh, to have it in the projection of our project, that is UTM Zone 32 North on WGS84. So I need to use uh, GDAL Warp, and, uh, maybe you remember that from last video. So GDAL Warp, if I just type the command I get here all the uh, options, and I'm gonna reproject it to UTM, and I'm going to cut it to crop it to a uh, catchment uh, boundary or to the bounding box in a similar way as we did uh, last time. So that will be GDAL warp. So I'm going to use GDAL warp to convert it to UTM zone 32 north on WGS 84 and uh, the command is uh, GDAL warp TSRS EPSG 32632 and then the input file name CLC and I'll call it uh, Corrine 2018 dot diff. We are getting this error because the file is simply too big to uh, handle with a TIFF. Um, we need the special format uh, big TIFF but that's unavailable in these tools. So therefore we're going to use this bounding box shapefile to crop it a little bit before we will go further in the steps. So we change the command to crop to the cut line with the shape file and now it works and we see that it uh, creates the new file cropped to the boundary of our shape file. So the next step is to resample this to uh, the clone but first we need to put it in the PC raster format so we need to use GDAL translate. So a land use or land cover map is a nominal map, discrete data, so it's integer 32 and we use the value skill nominal. We indicate that in GDAL Translate to be sure that in PC Raster it is seen as a nominal map. And now it's in PC Raster format. So we can visualize it using Aguila. 
and there we see the map cropped to our uh, boundary with all the land use classes, the levels of Corinne. Now we can use the resample command to make it the same size as our clone. So we use the command resample, uh, the input is the corinne2018.map file. I create an output which I call land cover map and I use as a clone the catchment map which means that the Corinne 2018 map will be resampled using the same properties as Ruhr catchment.map so it will have the same cell size, the same uh, origin of the coordinates and the same number of rows and columns and that's important because uh, all the maps that we use in a PC raster model with map algebra or dynamic modeling needs to have the same dimensions as the clone map. So with Aguila we can now visualize these three maps to see if uh, they are visible and there are no problems with it. So Aguila Corinne 2018, land cover map and work catchment and we see the three maps now on the screen. We don't see much difference here between land cover and the Corinne one. So I'm going to look at the map properties. And the command for that is uh, map attributes, map adder, minus b for properties, and then I can put a list of maps for which I want to have the properties on the screen. So I use the original Corinne 2018, the land cover map, and the Ruhr catchment map. And what we see is uh, that the original um, at 100 meter cell length, a bit more because of the reprojection, and we didn't say it has to be 100 meters. So that has uh, less rows and columns, and we resampled it to 30 meters, so when we look at landcover.map, it has now the same properties as workcatchment.map. And um, we can see that also the, the origin of the coordinates are exactly the same. So now this land cover map is suitable for use in your uh, model. And you should do this for all the raster files that you import from elsewhere and want to use in your PC raster model.